And that trash and debris could become more of an issue in the coming days with the rainfall that we're expecting. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But the latest on Tropical Storm Nicholas winds have picked up to 65 miles an hour since the earlier advisory, and it is right now hugging the coast of Texas. So there is some land interaction, but with the center still over water, there is the possibility that could it strength it could strengthen a bit more, possibly even becoming a hurricane before landfall along the coast, kind of about north of Corpus and between Houston and Corpus Christi. Moving inland and taking that turn toward Louisiana and with it, winds are going to be as much of the issue. We will see some gusty winds. It'll be the rain and here is the rain and flooding threat as we head into tomorrow. We're under a slight risk, more localized flooding that may become a little bit more widespread though as we head into Wednesday and both days are covered by a flash flood watch. Right now the rough estimate is four to eight inches. Obviously certain areas are going to see more or less. It just really depends upon where some of these bands of rain set up, but that's kind of what the guidance has been telling us four to eight inches on the higher scale. Now there are parts of South Central Louisiana that could easily see more than that approaching and exceeding a foot of rain and certainly across southwestern Louisiana and southeastern Texas could see quite a bit more. One of our models this is actually I said it says a 48 hour run. It's actually a 72 hour. I kind of push a little bit ahead of time and notice none of our totals based on one model are going with an even excess of four inches widespread. That certainly may be the case, but some localized areas could easily see more than that. As I said, this is going to be more of a, fl a flood risk than it is a wind issue. The risk of any kind of tropical storm force winds here are negligible, but we are going to see some gusty winds at times and hopefully it doesn't, but some strong gusty winds could lead to some power outages. Not what folks want to hear, but with winds gusting up to 20, maybe plus to 30 miles an hour. That is certainly very possible and the winds will still be breezy as we get into early Wednesday, then starting to settle late Wednesday and on into Thursday. But tomorrow and Wednesday are looking to be fairly windy and those will also be our wet days. Now right now what's going on with the storm is we've got some dry air on the western side of it and actually a big upper low, which has been helping to kind of keep the storm a bit weaker. Now that drier air may try and move into our area after Wednesday. Now this wouldn't be a dry dry air mass such as lower humidity, but our rainfall amounts wouldn't be nearly as high. So while we are still expecting scattered storms, after Wednesday, they shouldn't be as heavy as that tropical moisture does start to kind of reduce a bit. We won't have as much moisture to work with, but the latest on radar shows clearly where that spin is just off the coast of Texas, likely moving inland either late tonight or early tomorrow. The rain we've had around so far today has been minor, some scattered showers, and we're expecting more rain though as we head into the day tomorrow. So what are the storm preps we can do? Just make sure that those roofs are patched now with a heavy rainfall moving in and and coverage wise, we're looking at 80 to 100%. In other words, everyone is going to see rain, some heavier than others. Get that storm debris away from the storm drains and make sure that the storm drains are clear. Something else to remember, don't just push the debris on either side of a storm drain. That water has to find a path to get to those storm drains. So make sure that the water has a clear path in order to flow. That's really all we can do is just prep for heavy rainfall. Again, this is not going to be a big wind event for us. It'll be windy tomorrow and Wednesday, but not tropical storm force by any means. We had mostly cloudy skies across the area and temperatures have been in the 80s all day today. High humidity. Unfortunately, that drier air from Saturday is long gone and our high today got up to 89 degrees, which is right at average. We're generally in the 80s right now, cooling down into the 70s and low 80s by early tomorrow morning. Winds are already out of the southeast and those will be increasing as we head into the next couple of days. So very wet tomorrow, Wednesday flash flood watch. Not that we're getting rid of the rainfall, but more scattered showers as we get into the end of the week and going into the weekend.